Okay, so I forgot to vlog. I'm walking through the residence hall now. The test was okay that I had. Um, I got to use a cheat sheet front and back. Here's what I put on my Instagram. It was 101 questions. That's all I really need to say about it. Eating and going to edit in a friend's room. to the business building because I have a final at four and it's almost noon so I just want to study for it um, this is probably my second hardest final it's ethics and business and then tomorrow I have my hardest final yay but actually no Friday I have my hardest final and that is econ microeconomics so we're just walking and it's really snowy I'm gonna study a little bit probably get some food and then take my final and then study for my next final so it's great when I've asked questions on my Instagram, I've been got, getting a lot of questions on what it's like to get to class in the snow, and I want to show you guys. Even if there's snow on both sides, oh, okay, I, it was just a little bit slippery. Even if there's snow on both sides, it's always groomed in the middle, and like, I'm not wearing my snow boots today, and I'm totally fine with that, so... I would not be worried about walking to school in the snow. I mean, yes, I have seen a few people fall, but like, I haven't fallen. I need to knock on wood now. Hey. I'm really out of breath. I tried to walk really fast. I just wore this and um, I don't know why my hand just looks so awkward. I only wore this to go walking in the snow. Why did I do that? I don't know. I had my ethics final. It went really well. One of the worst feelings in school is when you have studied for like hours for a test and you open up the test and it's like the one thing that you didn't study, but that's not how today was. It's now like almost five. So I'm thinking I'm gonna relax for a little bit, then go to the gym and then go get some food and then just hang out with friends and take a break because I've been doing homework all day. And then tomorrow I'm gonna make my cover letter because I want to try and apply for an internship this summer. I know it's early, I'm a freshman, but like I'm a sophomore in credits and I really want an internship that I can come back to every summer and I really want to gain work experience now. So what's awesome about CSU, especially the business center, is that there are a bunch of people that are really willing and eager to help you write those sorts of things. They have whole presentations on resumes. There's even mock interviews that you can go to that's like practicing the interview process so I feel really well equipped for getting an internship if not this summer next summer and the next summer and for getting a job because CSU prepares you so well so anyways I have that appointment tomorrow at 11 on Thursday and that's just a 45 minute appointment and then I have the rest of the day to, to study and that's all I just talked really fast so Look at this mug that I got. Anyone who knows me know that I'm obsessed with e.l.f. This was at Walmart for $5. I mean, you can kind of tell that it was at Walmart for $5, but I just love it. I've been using it all month and I'm gonna bring it home. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. After dinner on Thursday, I tried to plan out my next four years and tried to choose all the classes that I needed to take, which I really couldn't do and I needed to wait for my advisor. We made it. Um.
um first semester done i hope that you guys enjoyed this week vlog i know it was kind of random but i tried to encompass all of what this week had today this morning woke up eight at eight and then i ate food with reagan and we went and then we took our econ final from 9 40 to 11 40 so i like ran into a few people after i had the finals and i could not form words you know when that happens like your brain's just like i'm done vacuumed and got my room ready finished packing up reagan move out reagan i already miss you please come visit soon no i have to get checked out by the ra and it's this new online system that i don't know how to do yet so i'm gonna do that it's 2 40 right now my shuttle's picking me up at 3 three so i kind of need to check out now the room looks pretty good it's really clean um pretty much when you check out you just have to like close the blinds and stuff so diy tutorial the lighting is so much worse now natalie's bike is here a lot of people bring their bikes in i'm gonna wear my parka i'm wearing my most bulky shoes so that flying tip um i have my id that's all you really need i already checked in i'm flying southwest love southwest you're the best frontier mm. So I'm a pretty light packer, but realized that I'm leaving for a month and it's gonna be cold in Oregon. So I had to bring my like snow boots and my just everything. I'm actually kind of worried that this bag is gonna be overweight. There's nothing I can do about it now though. I have my camera bag, my backpack. So I'm just now realizing that my bag is definitely overweight. So if it's not overweight, I'll tell you guys. So that's fun. The audio is probably really bad. I'm just so glad to be done with school. Like. It's a weird feeling leaving college. Like I don't necessarily want to leave, just like the people here and the community and just like my, I love my dorm. And so it's a weird feeling. People who are in college, you probably understand. Like I'm excited to go home, but also sad to leave. If you guys like this video, I'm so sorry for the lighting. Um, If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll make sure to leave in the comments any videos that you want to see. Yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I survived this week. Mm -hmm.